Hey, I'm Zed Sage Plays. Welcome to the Planet Zoo Grasslands Animal Pack. How gorgeous are these butterflies? Today we're going to be building a wild butterfly garden. No walls, no roof, no netting. It's just going to look like some beautiful butterflies are flying around in one of the gardens of our zoo. And we're also going to be adding the nine banded armadillo to the capuchin tower. So if you're new to my channel, this is Tecton Zoo, my main franchise zoo. I declared it finished a couple of months ago, but I have wanted for a long time to have some sort of ambient wild animal just flying around in the gardens of the zoo. And we can finally achieve that. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to use the new walkthrough exhibit with the butterflies and design the habitat in such a way that it just looks like they've flown into some nice flowers in a little garden in the zoo rather than an actual exhibit. So this is the garden I've chosen. And what we're going to do is get the walkthrough exhibit, uh, which is just down here. Uh, we're going to position this in the garden uh, we don't need to be too careful about it because apart from the keepers and the vets nobody's going to be using this path so it doesn't matter that it overlaps all the walls and roof and the doors are going to get removed so we'll put it there and then we'll select it and change all of the walls to none so that we basically have an invisible exhibit I love these invisible exhibits. I had so much fun with the bats in the Moonlight World Zoo and that inspired this build here. So basically now we've done that, all that remains is this path. So we're gonna change this to the wood chippings path. So it's basically invisible against the earth that's already in here. And we'll put a few um, plants down and things like that just to make sure it's completely covered. So you can't tell there's an exhibit here at all. The whole idea is to make it look like um, because there's flowers and plants here uh, it's a nice summer's day here in England and uh, there's some butterflies that have come in to visit the garden the next thing we're going to do is change the paths at the very end to staff paths to stop any of the guests from getting in here uh, we need to let the keepers uh, get in here to feed the butterflies and we need the vets to do research at the beginning but we don't want guests uh, walking through this wall and getting into the garden so we'll put the staff paths in there and then use periwinkle grass to cover them up so again you can't see um, where the staff paths are and the end results that I'm going for here is that the garden should look pretty much exactly the same when we finished as it did when we started except now it has butterflies in it and a couple of things while I finish that off firstly apologies for the state of my voice today as you can probably tell I've got a cold so sorry I'm not in best voice and secondly if you were a bit disappointed with the announcement for update 1.12 that's out tomorrow uh, I would highly recommend watching this video on screen now, uh, which I'll link again at the end, because there is a whole load of stuff in this update that Frontier have not told us about. Really, really cool stuff. So check that out. That's the periwinkle grass pretty much done with. Uh, we'll do the same over the other side just to make sure that it's all looking good and ready for the butterflies. Let me know guys in the comments which animal in the Grasslands Animal Pack you are most looking forward to. I'd be interested to know. Aside from these butterflies, I have really enjoyed the armadillo. I've been waiting for an armadillo in this game for absolutely ages, especially with there already being the little Chinese pangolin. I always kind of figured it wouldn't take too much work to get an armadillo in as well. So I've done a little habitat build for those in the Moonlight World as well, which I will also link at the end of the video. Now it's time to get the butterflies in. So we'll go to the exhibit animal market. We have got five butterflies in the Grasslands Animal Pack. Um, I'm going to concentrate on just the ones that you find in Europe for this build. Um, I've got to be honest, the odds of seeing these incredible butterflies just randomly all flying around together uh, on some flowers in England is uh, pretty much zero. But for some reason Frontier didn't include any small boring butterflies <laughs> for obvious reasons so um, I'm just gonna pick the ones that you know technically could be wild here and when you put the butterflies in straight away you get this new type of exhibit with netting um, so instantly you can build realistic butterfly houses without having to do anything and these butterflies work really well with the new exhibit management options basically just get one male and one female of each species or whichever species you want put them in here turn the management options on and these guys will breed like crazy and soon you'll have 50 or even 500 if you want butterflies in here it's so much better than the old way of doing things there's really nice hanging baskets coming down from the ceiling as well um, you can turn those off uh, which is what we're going to do when we turn everything back to none as we set it up at the beginning You've still got the options for glass and mesh uh, that we had with the bats as well, if you'd rather use those. 
and the uh, PVC doors which are so good as well you can keep those on there though again we will be removing those and get us back to having an invisible habitat the only thing in here is going to be these little butterfly houses which are really nicely designed and really subtle what we need to do is fill this with the new butterfly plants and do some research so when our vet is finished we're going to be able to fill the exhibit with as well as sort of man-made feeders and little butterfly shelters that you'd expect loads of new plants and shrubs which the butterflies actually perch on and fly around they look absolutely amazing i'll show you those in the end cinematics in a second just pick which one of those you like keep adjusting until you're happy with it and that is your wild butterfly garden done so research completed let's get in and take a look at it I really like how this looks. I've been waiting for some sort of flying animal in and around the zoo for so long. And these butterflies are it. They look so good when they're flying, uh, both when you're close up like this and um, just as good when they're far away as well, uh, like here. Just fluttering around the animation is amazing. This is one of the feeders that you can add in uh, to encourage them to feed there. We've got some more down there in a very sort of modern style and then there's also loads of actual plants and flowers that they will gather at and uh, feed on um, and yeah just as you sort of move the camera past this part of the zoo now it's like a whole different experience it's amazing to see these little guys just fluttering around now like i said at the start of the video this is not all we're going to be doing today we're also going to be heading on to the capuchin tower to add the new nine banded armadillos i absolutely love these guys i've done a whole build for them in the moonlight world zoo but uh if we take a look behind the garden here you can see the capuchin tower in the distance and for a long time now i've been wanting to add some more small primates to it and when I was doing my research for my armadillo build, I discovered that more often than not, zoos have armadillos in mixed habitats with small primates. So I thought it'd be great to add them into the capuchin tower and we can have little armadillos uh, trotting about on the bottom as well as the capuchins climbing up in the trees i think that's going to look really cool i saw a mixed um, exhibit similar to this uh although a lot smaller than this tower um at zoo a while ago so i really wanted to recreate that so this little room here was intended as a sort of playroom for the capuchins but i think because i used the elephant pool because i thought it looked good uh the capuchins never really come in here so it's a bit sort of irrelevant this room and it's at the back so the guests can't see it anyway so i decided to add one of the termite feeders in for the armadillos um, and then we'll put some enrichment for them at the front as well so the guests can see them and then we can have the armadillos in here alongside the capuchins uh let's take a look at it <laughs> i could just spend so long watching these guys trotting about they're amazing the animations are so good as well the way their um their bands are actually animated separately it's just uh this is frontier absolutely the top of their game as far as i'm concerned um they seem to get on quite nicely with the capuchins <laughs> maybe this guy's not sure about them but yeah this adds a whole nother level to this habitat and it's one i've wanted to come back to for so long but uh we never got any tamarins or marmosets or we haven't so far anyway so this was a great opportunity to do that um and yeah that's the episode it's been really fun getting back into tecton zoo again i really hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought in the comments and i will see you again soon thanks for watching <laughs>